A lot of people are aware that there's a connection between music and math, how to read notes and the value of notes and uh, all the fractional values involved, but also in the abstract thinking that goes into uh, the process of creating a song. Uh, the math helps you up to a certain point and then uh, the creativity takes over. And when you blend those two things together, you get a very powerful combination of good music. I graduated college in 1974 and started teaching in LA City Schools. After five years of teaching, I discovered that all I was doing was repair work with kids. Probably the most frustrating thing for teachers is to realize that you've got kids that are working one, two, three, sometimes four years below grade level by the time they get to middle school. My son Nick was born in January of 1980. Over the first few years of his life, everything he did seemed to be involved in some form of creativity. I had the opportunity to discuss math ideas that were way beyond his years. And so I had to come up with ways to speak with him about these things that made sense to him. And that was when I started changing the language. I mean, Nick and I created thousands of pages of math curriculum. He and I were always incredibly close together, working collaboratively on everything that we did. It was three years later that I met Peter and Dave and we started Mathnasium. We're literally worldwide now. Uh, and there are mathnasiums on every continent. I brought the education program, they brought the franchise knowledge. And that material, as we evolved it, uh, has now become known as, as the mathnasium method. Over the first 14 months, things were just like wildly successful. 